today's video is gonna have something for everyone. Delicious, most adorable, a healthy option, a decadent option, a no-bake option, a baking option. All these different options for a Valentine's Day treat, then you are in the right place. Stick around, we're gonna be making all of those here for you today. Our first one we're gonna do, super simple. I'd like to remind you that everything that's fun and cute and delicious does not have to be overcomplicated. So the first one we're gonna do is a really adorable one for kids. All you're gonna need is the flat bottom ice cream cones, white chocolate melting chips, your favorite sprinkles, the little bags, I have a cookie sheet here that I'm gonna place them on, and then you, the kids' favorite candies to put inside. This is so super simple. You're just going to melt your little white chocolate melting chips and then you just take a ice cream cone and you're gonna dip it into your chocolate, just the top part. Super easy. Pull it out, and then roll it through your favorite sprinkles. Yes, a little bit of the chocolate will gather here on the plate, but that's okay. And then you're just gonna set it over here on your parchment paper and allow the chocolate to dry. I like to fill the bottom of my little ice cream cones with a base and that just helps keep it solid so it can stay standing up so when you're adding in you know like your lollipops and different items like that it has a nice solid base and then just cute little items that drape over the side this make it really look fun and festive and of course chocolate <laughs> you can't ever go wrong with chocolate I did decide to switch out one of my suckers for uh, a different little chocolate treat. I thought that that would be fun and kind of have a balance of the two different suckers. And then of course, a little marshmallow to go on the top. How adorable is this? I'm just gonna tie this ribbon around here and give it a little curl. This is a fantastic, fantastic treat for your kids, your grandkids, anyone you wanna give it to. Love it, and you can keep it in the cellophane, keep it nice and fresh. That way they can eat the entire thing. Okay, in this next one, we're gonna make a healthy snack. So you get to decide, really? Why? Is it because I have candy up here? Yeah. You get to decide the amount of health that you want in this. I have one cup of Chex Mix, one cup of freeze-dried strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. I have yogurt-covered raisins. The M&Ms are optional. Depends on what level of healthy snack you want. Okay, so I just put it all in the bowl and I did go with the M&Ms because those are just delicious. So I took down the health level. Now here's where you can decide what you wanna do. You can use a plastic cup or the shorter plastic cups to just give the kids just a little snack. Or I have these really adorable little fancier glasses. I don't know about you, but my kids loved when they got to use fancy glasses and these are plastic and you can fill it up. That's an adorable way to treat them. Or if it's for an adult and you wanna do something really nice, I got this, this is an actual glass. There you go, you can make it super fancy. Such a fun way to give them a healthy or semi-healthy option for Valentine's Day. Next, let me show you the most adorable, no-bake, easy charcuterie board that you can make for kids and do a whole Valentine's pink theme. One of the best things is to be able to just buy some cute items, but oh, there's my favorite, the Little Debbie's Hearts. Let me know in the comments down below. I was having this discussion with friends this past week. Which is better, the Little Debbie's Valentine's Cakes or the Little Debbie Christmas Cakes? Because if you've been following me or if you follow me over on Instagram, then you know that I absolutely love the Christmas cakes. But the hearts are a close second. Let me know which one you guys like the best. This is an easy and fun way to elevate your board a little bit. I just dip chocolate, you know, the little pink vanilla wafers, the Rice Krispie Treats, making the little pretzel rods. If you just dip them in the white melted chocolate and add little sprinkles, it's just a fun, easy way to take your store-bought items and make them, you know, like semi-homemade and just step it up a little bit. So keep that in mind. You don't always have to make everything homemade and you also don't have to have everything store-bought. You can combine them both. 
And then I also decided to add in a little bit of strawberries because wow, do we have a lot of junk happening on this board. But this would be great for like a party, a get together, and you just really want to you know, treat your kids, your grandkids, and just let them have a sugar rush. Now that is the ultimate kid charcuterie board. Holy cow, for Valentine's Day, what? This next recipe is awesome. We're gonna step away from food for a minute and we're gonna make ourselves a little Valentine's Day float. The kids will love it and I bet Jason's gonna love it. So I melted some red candy melts and I just have a fun little glass here and we're just gonna dip this kind of like you're doing a margarita and you know, in salt, but we're actually doing it in this melted chocolate. While it's still wet, we're gonna put sprinkles on. Just run that around, make it however you want, make it as cute or as many sprinkles as you'd like. Look how cute that is. Now let's see if I can get some of these to stick on there. No, it'll be even cuter. And I don't need a ton of these, just a few here and there. Okay, now we're gonna put this in the fridge for 10 minutes and let the chocolate get hard. Okay, now that our chocolate is hard, we're gonna start off, we're gonna put a scoop of vanilla in. Boy, my ice cream's getting melted because I had it sitting out. That is okay. Then your favorite strawberry soda. Another scoop. Whipped cream. Definitely a cherry on top. Ah, stay. Here's the cute part. I found uh, heart-shaped marshmallows and I just put them on the straw. Look how cute that is. And then you can just have that coming out of your cute little float. Like who wouldn't love this? I'm gonna go try it out on Jason and see what he thinks. A little Valentine's Day float for my little Cupid. Isn't this? <laughs> What do you think? Isn't it adorable? It's a delightful surprise. What do you think of the marshmallows? That's kind of cheesy, but cool. What? Cheesy? You wanna taste it? Let me know what you think. It's a strawberry one. This next recipe, how can you go wrong? <laughs> we're back at it again with the Little Debbie's Valentine's Day cakes. So we're gonna make a really yummy dip. And so we're gonna start, we're gonna do one block of cream cheese and I just have my mixer out here. So, and if you don't have a stand mixer, that's okay. You can just use regular beater, a third cup milk and one teaspoon of vanilla. So up first, we're just gonna get this mixed up and get it smooth. Okay now. Okay, I know that's kind of noisy, but while that is getting smooth, we're gonna unwrap all of our cakes. You're gonna use an entire box. If you cheat and take a bite, I won't tell. Okay, now we have it smooth and we're gonna add in all of our little hearts. And then you can decide how you know chunky you want this to be. You don't really wanna whip this completely smooth. You want it to have a little bit of like texture to it. So that is gonna be personal preference on how you want yours. Okay, I think that's how I'm gonna leave mine. Oh, now there's one more step to this. I want you to take one tub of Cool Whip that is thawed. This is an eight ounce tub. And we're just gonna fold this in. You can serve this immediately or you can put it in the refrigerator until you are ready to serve it up. Now let me show you what I think tastes delicious with this. It just has a really good combo. You could do any kind of like little, oh, I don't know, you know, uh, Valentine's Day cookie or anything like that, but you guys are gonna laugh at what I love. I absolutely love these little Scooby snacks. 
the little graham cracker. So good. And they have the right consistency to just taste amazing when you put them in dip. And they hold up to, you know, doing the dip. And what kid or adult wouldn't love these? Let's do a couple little sprinkles on the top to make it look adorable. I have little chocolate covered cherries. Oh yes, look so adorable. Throughout the filming of this whole video, I've been dying to eat this one and I can't wait because you guys know how much I love the Little Debbie cakes. Okay, you're gonna call me crazy. I have an idea. If I ever make this one again, sorry, I'm like chomping in your ear. If I ever make this one again, instead of putting vanilla, I'm gonna put almond extract. That's my absolute favorite and I think that would taste so good. And maybe a little less whipped cream because it's overpowering the taste of the cream cheese with my little cakes. I'm still gonna sit here and eat all this. If you're enjoying today's video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. All right, I'm about to die from all the sweets I've been eating over here. Let's, let's make something a little healthier, a little healthier option. Uh, we're gonna do one cup of oats. I'm using the quick ones. You can pick whatever one you like. I am placing that into my little mixer here. You can just put it in a bowl. I'm just doing it because it's already out. So one cup of oats, a quarter cup of the little sunflower seed kernels. Okay, a quarter cup of peanut butter. I'm using creamy, so whatever kind that you have. I don't want to dirty another thing, so I'm just putting it into the same one the peanut butter was in, but we're gonna do a quarter cup of honey, a quarter cup of shredded coconut. Do I have another one? I've been cooking all afternoon. While this is, while I'm cooking these, I've been making um, different like Instagram reels. I can tell I'm getting sloppy because I'm getting tired. It's tiring. I've been like changing my clothes back and forth all day, making different ones. The lighting in here is kind of off too. All right, we're just gonna do that. Quarter cup of the shredded coconut. Now here's the option that you have to decide. Like, that could be it. You could just mix this up, but obviously it doesn't look very Valentine's Day-ish. So, you could do one of two things. You could add in some little sprinkles, which is obviously gonna take away your health factor, but I mean, it's not a lot happening with these. I mean, if you really don't care about that, I suggest a little bit of the little mini M&Ms, the little tiny ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and cheat, and I am gonna put just a little bit in there. Cause I have a sweet tooth. So we'll mix this up and then we're just gonna make them into little balls onto parchment paper and put them in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. And then that's it, you don't have to bake them or anything. This is a perfect little healthy snack, minus the M&Ms, uh, for kids, adults, or anyone alike. I'm actually just gonna use my hands and make the little balls. If you want, you could use a scoop, but I feel like if you make them with your hands, you can really like compact it tighter. Now I will say that I feel like this recipe only makes a small amount. I think it's, I think maybe 15. Let's see how many we end up getting out of this. I just realized that even though my M&Ms had like a Valentine's Day look on the outside of them, the ones inside don't, so they don't look very Valentine's Day-ish. And these can be stored in your refrigerator, just in an airtight container for about five days. I didn't even get 15, I got 13. Okay, I'm super, super curious what these taste like. That's really good. Wow, wow. I love the little sunflower kernels in there. This is a yes. This next one is amazing, amazing. I want you to take four little ramekins and spray them with Pam. I only have three. I bought these cute little heart ones uh, in the dollar section at Target. Got it on my hand. And they're gonna be on a cookie sheet. Set that aside. I do have other ramekins. Let me, I'll just have to use a regular round one. Ruin my Valentine's Day vibe. Get a bowl. You are going to do one cup of cherry pie filling. Mix that in a bowl. 
one cup of cherry preserves. I like use so many baking things like everything's dirty. Who here used to watch Semi Homemade Cooking with Sandra Lee? That was my inspiration growing up. I adored her. This is my ode to her. This is her recipe. I always thought everything that she did was just so neat. And I just thought she was just a classy lady or is a classy lady. All right, we're gonna do one and a half teaspoons of almond extract. Now this little dessert is gonna be your fancy Valentine's Day dessert that you make for your loved ones. Mix that up. Put in just a little handful, which like a quarter cup of dried cherries. This is how we're looking, amazing. And then take this and fill your little ramekins evenly. Okay, it makes four of them perfectly. All right, now we're gonna make a crunchy little yummy topping to go on it. So this is gonna be like our cherry crumble, our cherry almond crumble. Okay, in a bowl, I want you to do a cup of oats. I'm just using quick, because that's what I have. A half a cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of little sliced, like slivered uh, almonds. Let's see, we need a teaspoon of cinnamon. You guys should see how messy my kitchen is. Holy cow. Teaspoon of cinnamon. Mix that around. This is gonna be our crumbled topping for the top. I want you to melt five tablespoons of butter and then we're gonna drizzle that over this and get it kind of crumbly to where we can sprinkle it around on top of our little cherry crumbles. Okay, we're just gonna drizzle our butter over. Oh, told you I was getting tired. <laughs> just mix that together. And now we're just going to sprinkle it over each one after I clean this up. Okay, 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Oh wow, a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top of these and Perfection. I have a lot of dishes to get done, so I better get to it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.